For those of you that are familiar with my channel, you know that when I do a tool review, I always have them send uh, an extra one to give away. So today we're going to be taking a look at this oscilloscope multimeter waveform generator. Yes, a three-in-one multimeter, and uh, one of you are going to win one. Uh, this time they're going to be drop shipping it, so I believe that opens up the possibilities of people that are not within the United States to get your hands on one of these. 24 hours after this video goes live, I will randomly select someone from the comment section. So if you want to get entered, just say something down below to imply you would like to be entered. Maybe you want the multimeter or enter me in the contest. I don't care. Um, the winner will not have to pay for shipping. This is going to be 100% completely free. So if somebody says that you won, but they're asking for shipping money, it is a scam. Don't fall for it. Now, that out of the way, let's take a look at this. I think it's pronounced Gachi Fix. I, I don't know. Got Gotcha Fix. I think from now on, we're just going to refer to it as the Gooch. Um, so here, just take a look at the lead since they fell out first. This is a... PVC feeling insulation on the wire, so it's not the softest. And the reason why I'm not crazy about PVC is uh, they can eventually start to do this and break. They're not quite as flexible as a silicon lead. So like these leads here are a little bit more softer, a little bit more flexible, but these are fine. The, the thing about meter leads is they're universal. You can just throw these away and pick up a good set for under $5. So I'm not gonna get too bent out of shape over that. And the tips are mildly pointy. I myself really like a fine point tip like these guys here, nice sharp tip to bite through like conformal coating, uh, things like that if you really gotta bite in to get a reading. So here's your meters that come with the, the meter and did I say meter? Here's the meter leads that come with the meter. They're fine. They'll get the job done. But like I said, they're easily replaceable. Let's take a look at the meter itself. Comes in a little pouch. And here is a USB-C cable. Now, in the past, I've reviewed other oscilloscope style multimeters. Um, now, like this one here, it runs on double A's. And this screen, this LCD screen, since it's continuously backlit, it does chew through batteries. And I believe this new one here has a built-in rechargeable. Yeah, there's no battery door, and here's a USB port, USB-C port right there. So built-in rechargeable batteries, that is a welcome change. Now, the, uh, the feel test. Um, feels good in the hand. It's got the, uh, the rubber here that's, what, inlaid or molded right into the plastic maybe it doesn't feel like it comes off but it feels like a power tool you know it's got heft to it the rubber feels good it's got a nice solid feel so it, i guess you could say it passes the uh, the skookum test it's got a nice solid feel to it and the dial i'm noticing it's got led lights here that change for each mode we got purple white that's kind of neat greenish um, the dial feels all right doesn't quite snap. I guess it does kind of snap into place. I like a, you know the dial to really confidently snap into place. This one's a little tiny bit mushy, but I'm just nitpicking. I turned down the room lights so you can see a little bit better how it's uh, got this colored LED backlight here for the dial. Here's all the different different color for each mode. I guess that's just to make it easy to tell at a quick glance if you can memorize what color is what mode. And then I believe the screen has uh, two different brightness. Oh yeah, okay, so there's there's dim and there's bright. The screen does look good. I, I figured this would just be a copy of this older uh, must tool oscilloscope uh, meter, but I would say that the screen on the Gooch, it's brighter. And I don't know if the resolution's different, but it is a little bit more crispy. I don't know if you can get that in the video, but maybe there were some slight improvements to the screen. To enter the oscilloscope mode, you just push and hold the auto button for two seconds. Right now we are looking at a 100 hertz, uh, 12 volt, 50% duty cycle square wave. 
and it is feeding the VSS vehicle speed sensor signal to this instrument cluster. You see the uh, we're at 90 miles per hour, and this is what the signal looks like. Uh, you can see we're set to five volts per division. Let's check out the waveform generator function. So to turn it on, just set it to volts, push and hold this button for two seconds, and it defaults to square wave, 50% duty cycle, and three volts peak to peak. Um, now there are some shortcomings with this, and the main problem I have with it is it cannot go any higher than three volts. Three volts peak to peak is its max. I would think at least five volts would be a minimum to expect. Um, it's really gonna limit what you can do with this. Like for me, for automotive applications, I need at least seven volts to trigger things like vehicle speed sensors or tachometer signals. And uh, this will not be able to replace my bench top signal generator because of that three volt maximum limit. And also you, uh, for frequency now, I guess we'd talk about the wave. We'll start at the top. The waveform, you got your three choices of sine, uh, up to sine. There's your sine wave, square, and ramp. Uh, and that's fine and all. And uh, frequency, now with frequency, you have to select from a pre-selected um, range. And let me see if I can get a good focus on there. So you got your 50 kilohertz, 20 kilohertz, 10 kilohertz, 5 kilohertz, 2 kilohertz, 1 kilohertz, 500 hertz, 200 hertz, or 100 hertz. And I don't believe there's any way to uh, pick a frequency in between that. If there is, I haven't been able to find it. And you can adjust the duty cycle. Put that up to 90. And I tell you what, let me change the, uh, the waveform back to a square. And there we go. User interface isn't too bad. It's pretty easy to get around. The only thing that you really need to uh, look at the owner manual for to figure out is to enter signal generator. You have to push and hold this button for two seconds. And to enter oscilloscope, you have to push and hold this button for two seconds. Now to try out the oscilloscope function, I have my bench top waveform generator sent to 60 hertz, sine wave, uh, 12 volts. There we go, now we can get a good look. And I'm gonna set the time, uh, wrong way, there we go. And there is our sine wave. User interface is good, it's pretty self-explanatory for the most part. Um, as you can see, there are some slight differences in the uh, user interface versus the older models. Voltage setting, 150 ohm resistor on the ohm setting. Diode check mode, here it is on a short. And here it is on a diode and it is enough voltage to light up an LED. Continuity. Capacitor setting. 100 microfarad capacitor. Works fine. Frequency setting. Signal generator set to 10 hertz. Meter reads pretty damn close to 10 hertz. Current meter does have a 10 amp limit. Currently have it set to half an amp. Works just fine. Let's take a peek at the guts. Here's a stand, looks pretty good. Back cover, USB-C port cover. The battery is user serviceable. It looks like this is just an 18650 lithium ion. So if down the road, the rechargeable battery needs to be replaced, that's pretty easy to do so. Now the fuses are not user serviceable. Well, for somebody like me, I can get in here with my soldering irons and pluck these fuses out if I accidentally blow them and replace them without too much trouble. For the average person that doesn't solder all the time, this could be uh, difficult to replace or possibly even a deal breaker. In this video, I just went over the basics 
This three-in-one multimeter can do more, like save and store and play back. I'm not going to get into that today. But if you think this multimeter is right for you, there will be some links down below, possibly some discount for coupon codes, and also a link to the manufacturer's YouTube page. Uh, thanks for watching, and good luck with the contest. I uh, hope you win. Thank you.